So if you're one of those crazy Mini enthusiasts like I am, you might be wondering to yourself, what exactly is new for the 2021 Mini model year? Yes, you heard me correctly, the 2021 Mini model year. Now, there are some changes coming in March of this year for the 2021 Mini model year. The 2020 model year is one of the shortest ones on record, aside from the 2014 Mini model year. So as an example here, I have a 2020 Mini Cooper S. Now, what is going to change on the exterior of this car? In a word, absolutely nothing. You're still gonna have the same style, the same features you've come to know and love with the 2020 Mini Cooper. You're still gonna have the same options like these fantastic Mini Yours British spoke wheels. You're still gonna have these wonderful Union flag taillights. In fact, as far as cosmetics are concerned, nothing is changing on the exterior of this car. So what is? To find out, we need to go inside the car. Inside the car, we will find that we have a seven speed dual clutch transmission. Now there is nothing new about this. What is new is that for the 2021 model year, we get back the six speed manual gearbox. But along with the return of the six speed manual gearbox, we also get a new digital instrument cluster here which will have a digital speedometer along with other information you might need on this side and an analog RPM gauge tack on this side. So I'm sure you all are incredibly excited about the six speed manual transmission returning to the mini lineup, but there is a catch. There are certain models that will not have the transmission available. So let me go through a breakdown of which models will have the six speed manual transmission. We start with the base Mini Cooper. It will still have the seven speed DCT, but it will now have a six speed manual. Those will be the Cooper two door, the Cooper four door, and the convertible. We move up to the Cooper S. The Cooper S two door, the Cooper S four door, and the Cooper S convertible will have a manual gearbox. We move up to the John Cooper Works lineup. The John Cooper Works hardtop will have a manual gearbox. We then move up to the Mini Cooper S Clubman and the Mini Cooper S Countryman. The front wheel drive variants of those models will have a manual transmission and that will happen sometime in July of this year. The models that will unfortunately not be returning to the US lineup with manual transmissions are as follows. The John Cooper Works Convertible, the John Cooper Works Clubman, the John Cooper Works Countryman, and all, all four all-wheel drive variants of the Countryman and Clubman. The reason for this, according to a source I have with Mini USA, is due to take rate. Basically, not enough people were buying those cars with manual transmissions to warrant having a manual transmission as a standard gearbox for those vehicles. So as such, Mini USA has decided to discontinue those transmissions for those models. Now, as unfortunate as that is, we do have two new models that are joining the Mini lineup for 2020. We have the 2021 Mini Cooper SE electric, battery electric vehicle that is, otherwise known as the BEV. And we have the 2021 Mini John Cooper Works GP, otherwise known as the GP3. That car, of course, is a limited production 3,000 units, 500 of which are coming to the US market. That car will also be available exclusively with a 301 horsepower, 331 foot-pounds of torque, four-cylinder turbocharged motor, and mated to an eight-speed sport automatic transmission. Unfortunately, for the third generation of the GP, we will not see a manual gearbox in that car. Now, I know some of you are disappointed in that, but many has stated that the torque, horsepower, and overall brute force of the upgraded B48 engine was too much for the standard six-speed manual transmission. And unfortunately, they would have had to make a bespoke six-speed manual to compensate for that. As such, they decided not to do that and felt that the eight-speed sport automatic was better able to handle that power. I'm a little disappointed in that myself, but this is what Mini has decided to do. And I'm gonna respect their decision since I think they know what they're doing despite the fact that I would have loved to have seen a 301 horsepower manual John Cooper Works GP. Now, for those of you out there who want a 301 horsepower manual John Cooper Works, buy a regular manual transmission John Cooper Works hardtop and then tune it and upgrade it at your leisure. 
What else is new for the 2020 model year? Well, we also have many takes of states coming up. That will be July 18th through July 26th. And as you might already know, the route destination and starting point has been announced. The starting point will be Burlington, Vermont, and the end point will be Spartanburg, South Carolina, which I believe is where the BMW plant is located that builds the BMW SUVs. And I believe they also have a test track there. Sounds like a very short mini take states, and it sounds like a lot of people are not too happy about this decision as it cuts out quite a bit of the country. But I think they have a reason for this, and I think they have a plan in mind for why they're doing it this way. And I'm looking forward to waiting and seeing exactly what they have in mind. Me personally, I would have preferred a more cross country route, but as always, at least we finally have an idea of where we're going and where we're starting. So that's an important step in the right direction and I'm sure we'll get more information about the route as the month progresses and as the year progresses heading towards many Texas states I'm sure we'll find out more details exactly what is going to be happening and just how much fun it's going to be I'm going to try to attend many Texas states as as best I can if I can get to the starting point great otherwise I may be heading straight to Spartanburg South Carolina now I have to at least go to part of it because I owe Mike Payton a t-shirt. And if he's watching this video, he knows exactly which t-shirt that is. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little update, this little overview of what's to come for the 2021 Mini model year and what's to come for 2020 with Mini as far as the cars and as far as events are concerned. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to check out some of the videos in the playlist at the end of this video. And don't forget to just check around at my channel for every other video I might have available. You never know what I might have coming out and you never know what, there might be something really cool that you are just dying to watch. So go check those videos out. And before I let you all go, I'm just gonna remind you all that life is too short to drive a boring car. So drive a mini. I will see you all in the next video.